What's wrong with that finger? It's not tall enough. It's not tall enough? Yeah, and this one. Ah, oh, so all the others are tall enough? Mm -hmm. Show me the one that's not tall enough. Oh man. That one's not tall enough? Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? I don't know. I did it. Good morning from Nevis. So, St. Kitts and Nevis are two different islands, but same country. So we spent about a week in St. Kitts, and now we are here in Nevis. Kind of like we're two separate people, but with one soul. Okay. <laughs> we actually go home tomorrow, which we're kind of bummed No, we're really bummed about. And when I say home, I mean <laughs> we Just leave to our here. next place. We're going somewhere else. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah. Sad. Home. But that's okay. Hmm. Anyway, but we're kind of excited because we get to go to the U Lounge. So yeah. on our um, arrival, we went through the U Lounge. So the U Lounge is basically like an arrival and departure concierge that does everything for you. They pick you up for right when you get off the plane. Right when you get off the plane. Take you over to a beautiful little lounge where they give you a cold towel and a light meal and they gave me a bouquet of flowers and a drink and anyway it was just heavenly and then they handled our passports and our arrivals and our immigration and customs and all that bad and our baggage i had never experienced that before especially when they picked us up right off the plane like walked off the stairs onto the runway and got in the car i thought i had done something wrong but <laughs> then i realized i had just done something so i guess very if you, right. it was awesome Oh, but I apologize, you lounge. I think you give people such delicious food, thinking to like be classy about it when we were just pounding it because the food was so good. Well, and they gave a great plate to Dorothy and Manila, so Garrett pounds everybody's food. Thank you, you lounge times four. <laughs> so we we left St. Kitts about a week ago, and we took a little water taxi, and when I say taxi, I mean speedboat, and we cruised over to Nevis, which was seven minutes, and it's just a wonderful little island as well, just beautiful and quaint and charming, and years and years ago, St. Kitts and Nevis were for, were really big in the sugar industry, and so a lot of these places have these little charming, cute little, a lot of these Everywhere you go around the island has old sugar mines. Mines? I'm just gonna let her struggle through this <laughs> one. And see what she comes to it. Oh. A sugar mill. A sugar mill. Have all these sugar mills everywhere. And some places have restored them into hotels or resorts or restaurants. And it's been really cool to see those. So when we arrived, we went to lunch at Sunshine's, which was a cute little just by the beach. Oh, did you restaurant. get the killer bee? We did not get the killer bee because we don't drink alcohol, but we've heard it is world famous. If you're into alcohol, you should try the killer bee and you should consider dropping alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wait, can I tell them what happened at Sunshine's? Yeah. Okay, so there's this TV show. I don't watch it, Jess watches it. It's called, what's it called? Like The Bachelor or something? Uh, so we see this girl sitting in the table next to us and I don't watch other TV shows and I don't notice other girls. <laughs> but I'm like, Jess, look at this girl. She was on The Bachelor. And we look over and it was Leslie from Sean's season. He would know that. I'm like, oh, I kind of recognize her. I'm pretty sure she's from The Bachelor. And he's like, Mike, that's Leslie. Her Sean's name's season. Leslie, Sean season. This is what they did on their one-on-one -on -one date. She was the fifth one left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've not. Mm -mm. Anyways. Anyway, we spent some time talking to Leslie Murphy. And she was really fun. She has a travel blog, The Road Less Traveled. Mm -hmm. She's really great. So it was fun talking to another like travel journalist. Anyway, so you should check her stuff out. The Road it Less Traveled. It is called A Road Less Traveled by Leslie Murphy.
Oh my goodness. Wow. every one of our little stops would collect rocks. Uh, not like one rock, like two or three rocks. So four stops just into it, he had like 18 rocks and he wouldn't let go of them, so he was just... He was cute though. Yeah. Manila, when you're cute, you're very cute. You the should, cutest. You should try to be the cutest more often. So yeah, we cruised around the island quite a bit. We also enjoyed um, a meal at a really cute, stylish beachside restaurant called Chrissy Beach. That place was really good. It's been fun meeting some of these restaurant owners everywhere we go and the people who have come and decided that Nevis is like the island that they want to live on. So we've been able to stay at a few different places while we were here. The first place that we stayed at was the Hermitage Plantation. It was so cute. It's up on the hill with all these trees and they're these old English Victorian <laughs> cottages that you can stay in. A bunch of green grass the kids could run around in and often there were monkeys in the trees. And I think it's kind of annoying to the locals, but we love them. Yeah. Like monkeys one of the cool. coolest workouts, we worked out in some cool places this last year, but one of the coolest we've done is on our balcony watching these monkey, this monkey family in a mango tree. Yeah. We're, we're doing our workout like as a family on our balcony, looking at these monkeys hanging out at a water hole under a mango tree. And I'm sure so the monkeys cute. are like, Hey, look at the weird humans doing exercises on the balcony. <laughs> it was fun though. But we really liked the Hermitage and not only was it just cute, quaint and beautiful, but some of the best food yeah. we've had. At, don't such, talk a, about, I'm not at ready. such a small boutique, sometimes you don't expect the food to be as incredible as this place was. But it blew our expectations and we loved it. And everybody that was there has been there before. So people that go, they come back time and time and time again. So it was really cool to see everybody, to meet the people there that were just like The food regulars. was delicious. I'm not, I'm pretty strict with my diet. So if I'll never order like French toast or pancakes, even if it's at a buffet, I won't get stuff like that. But they had coconut crusted French toast and pumpkin pancakes, which... <laughs> and like, we order our kids breakfast Usually, like, you know, they'll just eat whatever or share or something. But this time we were like, yes, they'll have the um, pancakes. And two orders of this, two orders Manila of that. Manila will have the pancakes, Dorothy will have the French toast. Oh, do you want those kids' portions or adults? Adults. No, Manila's sure. a big eater. Let the kid eat. <laughs> hmm, I don't see. Keep watching. <gasps> I, I don't hear it. Where's that noise? That was a bat. A bat? Yeah. Keep watching the pool. Wait, where was that noise? Wait. What? What was that noise that time? <gasps> I see one. <gasps> you saw one? Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> that one was close to us. Another place where we stayed, which we are currently at, which is just gorgeous as well, is the Nisbet Plantation. A great resort kind of around one of the old plantations and it's right on the beach, just gorgeous views. It's the only plantation that's like right on the beach. Yeah. And so yeah, our resort's just beautifully located. I don't got dressing soup. You got his? Okay. Wait. Hey Manila! <laughs> Yeah, what? <gasps> da -da! <laughs> da -da -da! <gasps> hey, Manila. Da -da! 
Like a plane. Okay, go. Arms in the air! Will it see me go bubbles? Yeah, okay. I'll do the camera, you do bubbles. <laughs> Good job, Manila. <laughs> Dorothy, look, we're in the deep end. Just gotta get Manila. Ready to swim to this side. Okay. One, four, three, four. Bubbles or smiles? Um, bubbles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a cool toy. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, Manila. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, Manila. <laughs> One of the things that we've loved about here is, besides just the incredible like view, is the sweetest staff you'll ever meet. Ever. I think, I think it's because Dorothy and Manila. They love Dorothy and Manila. Yeah, maybe people just befriend us because of our kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of our favorite activities that we did here is we went on a mountain hike. They call it a mountain hike, but let me tell you, it's the mountain climb. Mm -hmm. We climbed a mountain. And when we showed up, we had a guide, and he was really awesome, and I'm in my like bright yellow Nikes and just looking like I'm ready to like go shopping, go on a little hike. <laughs> and the first little bit I'm trying to like avoid any sort of like dirt or mud. And by the end, <laughs> my friend, we were Head to toe. pasted in mud. Well, because to get up, you're hiking through mud. You're grabbing onto muddy ropes, muddy roots, trees, everything you can. And then on the way down, Jessica was slipping and sliding no. No. all over the place. This kid is like really athletic and super coordinated, but when it comes to mud, it was because of my pride. He like lost it. No, it was my pride. You, he you, was behind me. I'm you shocked. You go slow. I'm shocked you did not fall into me. Like shocked. <laughs> One of the times I slipped and my foot swung at Jessica's face and I stopped it and she turned around and I was like, yeah, sorry. So when we got back, we walked into the ocean in our clothes. Uh, so if you're gonna go on the mountain hike, wear disposable clothes. Yep, disposable shoes. <laughs> disposable ready to get shoes. dirty and have a really good time. But it's time to buy new Nikes for the me. The funny thing was on the way to the mountain hike is we're like, what's the name of this mountain? We're like the mountain. What's the <laughs> name of the hike? The mountain <laughs> hike. And then we kind of we didn't get lost, but we needed to take a detour, and they were giving each other instructions, and I was like. I didn't hear any street names and they explained that oh, yeah. there's no street names, there's no addresses. If you order a package, the postman just knows your name. Nevis. <laughs> he knows when it gets to the right place. Oh, hey, Dorsey girl. So, postman. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Dorothy. How old are you? Dorothy. Yeah. And what is this place called? Mr. Postman, my name is Garrett, this is Jessica. If you see our Amazon package with Bulletproof, we're at the Nisbet Plantation. <laughs> <laughs> so one day, we went on a gorgeous catamaran yeah. trip, and that was so fun. Man, Nevis is so fun. I wasn't even thinking about the catamaran, but it was maybe yeah. my favorite day. Yeah, it was so fun.
Nevis, thank you. We loved you. Thank you for being so kind and Nevis. to we had us. Such a, we had such a great time. This mm -hmm. is These islands are just like a hidden gem here in the Caribbean, and we'll absolutely be back. And we'd recommend it to anybody. Anybody who's looking for just a great non-touristy, quaint, tropical getaway. St. Kitts and Nevis, this but don't your tell place. your friends because it's kind of a hidden secret. Yeah. So hopefully we get yeah, like so four views on this video and not much more. Uh, where are we off to next? Never mind, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Back at morning time, remember that? We just saw back at morning time. Yeah, where was that? Can you tell me? Where else did we see bats? I don't know. Remember? And there was birthday. Remember? Yeah. It was the place where we had Manila's birthday on a dock. Yeah. What, what place was that in? That was Tonga. Tonga? Mm-hmm. With the... And, and remember we see bats at the morning time? Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. And then, oh, I just saw one. <laughs> I saw it too. Yeah. I saw one. There's a lot of them, huh? Yeah.